It's the unboxing. Oh, yeah. Greetings, greetings, followers. It is I, Cardinal Sin, and welcome to another episode of the unboxing. And I got a couple of cool boxes in the mail, and I thought. Why not share? So let's figure out what's in them. I know that they are from Eagle Moss and Tonk Toys. And that's all I know. My memory is so bad I don't even remember what I got. So we'll start with this one first. The first one. It's always best to start with the first one first. Being very careful with the box cutter. Don't want to damage myself. Oh, oh, look at this. Th they know that I pay extra for the ancient Egyptian air, of which I am so well known. Oh, this is air that was breathed by the pharaohs into canopic jars. Oh, and it has a higher oxygen content than what we're used to. It's, uh, it, it's like a drug for me, actually. Um, so, yeah. Um... And yet more ancient Egyptian air. Oh, mommy, mommy. Oh, just like blue velvet. Look at this. More ancient Egyptian air. Woohoo! Oh, this stuff is expensive. <sighs> Probably more expensive than the the stuff that it's protecting. Hail Nancy Malcolm. Greetings. Welcome to the unboxing. Or if you prefer, it's the unboxing. Oh, yeah. All right. So the first item to be unboxed is a TARDIS console. This would be from the 11th Doctor. And let's check it out and see what's in there. It says Plus Magazine. You wouldn't say no to a free magazine. There goes the free magazine. So this is the Junk TARDIS uh, console from the doctor's wife. I don't remember there being a junk TARDIS console. It is just like Christmas, Nancy. Greetings, Cosmic Squirrel. Glad you could make it and be here for the unboxing. Um, I guess I'll put that back in the box. You have to cut the uh, styrofoam because they tape it which is probably a good idea sorry I don't mean this to sound like fingernails on a blackboard but if I did mean for it to be like fingernails on a blackboard I, I probably would say the same thing I would lie
Now I have to take that out so I can fit this in. Hmm. That is interesting. What a pretty TARDIS console. Look at that. And it appears this one is affixed, so it doesn't come off like my other one does. But man, that's really cool. It even has a little keyboard on it, so the doctor can rock out if he wants to join an intergalactic uh, jam session. So that's pretty cool. I like that. We'll just set that there. And the second box is another TARDIS console. How cool is that? This is the 9th and 10th Doctor's console, which is my favorite. It also comes with a magazine, which I can see right here. I'm going to have to eject all the contents again. It's just like Christmas, except I'm Jewish and an atheist, so... Every day is like Christmas to me. So here is the magazine for the console. Hey, Gap Stargate is here. Look who's in the house. Yo, what's up, Gap Stargate? So that is my second TARDIS console. Get off of there. Of the day. And let's take a look at it, because I am, bloody microphone, very excited to see this new TARDIS console. Well, it's new to me anyway. Helps if you know where to cut. This is really weird. Have I said how really weird this is? This is so weird. Isn't that weird? I'm from Holland. Isn't that weird? All righty dighty. Hail to the chat. Love that TARDIS console. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Oh, yeah. That's the top, and this is uh, the TARDIS console that Peter Davison told uh, David Tennant. Uh, You've changed the desktop, th the desktop theme again, haven't you? What is that, coral? So this is my favorite TARDIS console. And I'll just put that right there. Not to be confused with the TARDIS console that I have already. And this one does come off, so you can go vorp, vorp, vorp. 
So I have three, count them, three TARDIS consoles. Ah, ah, ah. Do I know what I'm going to do with them? Oh, oh, yes. Yes, I certainly do. Never, ever get anything in the way of Jenny Agutter. If Jenny Agutter wants to be in the shot, she's in the shot. And right, we'll put it over there. Oh, you can't really see it. It is a beautiful TARDIS console. I am uh, pleased as punch with that. So we have two Tardi consoles. And that's it for box number one. Box number two is the Mother Load. Ninth Doctor's console, eleventh Doctor's junk console. All right. Fat enough. Fat enough. And we have Rui is in the house. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Phantom Boomer is here. The reason that I got all this stuff. It's all your fault, Phantom Boomer. Gonna get me that Jenny poster. Got a cool Anne Francis poster in today. Oh, cool. Have a little coffee. I got a late start today, so. Okay, it's not your fault. It's partially your fault. Oh, this is the big boy. Maybe it's time we put these Tardi consoles in a safer place. Just to open up the shot a little. I know I should be more organized before I begin, but I'm not. Bloody microphone. Alright, so this is from Tonk toys and it's an awfully big box so either there's lots of Egyptian air for me to breathe or there's a lot of stuff in it or a lot of other packing material but it's really heavy so I'm thinking not I think it is filled with toys so yes Nancy in that sense it is much like Christmas Plenty of paper. Oh, ha, 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 ha. it's my geeky tiki's. Cool, man. Oh. All right. So first of all, we have some wrapped pint glasses. It looks like, and we'll go ahead and get to those here in a minute. I'm going to beat Walter Bosley at his own geeky tiki game. So we'll put those down here and let them fall over. Well, let's take a look at this. This looks quite interesting. Hello. The lovely Sherry, thanks for gracing my little dumb unboxing show with your presence. Phantom Boomer says, I will accept a very small portion of blame and only for the Rosinante and I forget the other one that are still on pre-order. You know, Phantom Boomer, I was on the site yesterday and I was going to pre-order them and then I thought, you know, I think I've already pre-ordered these. So... I know, right? 
I'm gonna need more shelving units for display. <laughs> but don't blame me for mentioning that. No, I, I was already aware. I need to build more walls, I'm out of space. Well, if you have a TARDIS, you know, it's bigger on the inside, so. All right, now everybody knows I am a big fan of Fallout. You can see the original box right up there on my top shelf. Uh, by the way, I apologize. Uh, everybody in the neighborhood has chosen today to be mowing day, even though we had freezing temperatures as recently as last week. Uh, so there's lots of noise in the background for which I apologize. I apparently have a neighbor uh, with a big truck and no muffler who likes to warm up his truck and it just drives me batty. Yes, yes, Roy Batty, yes, quite. Uh, Nancy Malcolm says, you have airspace, hang some flyer stuff up on strings, maybe. I thought about that, but then I was like, I'd have all the stuff in the background, you know, birds of prey and stuff like that. When I managed a record store here in, in Lawrence, um, I had a model of a uh, Romulan bird of prey um, from TNG, and I had it hooked up to the door. And a monofilament went through a screw eye to another screw eye. And then that went down to the Romulan Bird of Prey, which was right in front of the door. So when you would open the door, it would drop the Romulan Bird of Prey. And then when the door closed, it would go back up. And I thought that was kind of cool. And the owner didn't mind. So um, it stayed that way for years. So this is the vault Tech t-shirt that I ordered. vault Tech is the company that makes the vaults uh, in Fallout. And uh, that's really cool. I might wear that on my next unboxing video. And um, speaking of which, greetings the Comic Relief Crusader. Uh, if you should for any reason want to uh, check out the merchandise at gillstore.com I'll go ahead and break off a little thing here and you can get a gander of what I'm talking about and I keep the prices low so that you guys can all uh, you know buy stuff easily uh, and I don't make a whole lot of profit on it. Let's go ahead and share that screen. So this is gillstore.com and this is the Masters of the Genre shirt courtesy Douglas Nelson. We have uh, various Into the Fringe t-shirts, mugs, Midnight to Midnight, um, tumblers, uh, there's the Masters of the Genre t-shirt, thanks to Fet for Hire. Masters of the Genre t-shirt, Douglas Nelson. Uh, all kinds of cool stuff. We've got some uh, white Into the Fringe shirts. Mugs. Midnight to Midnight's a popular late night show that I do. It's not a 24 hour stream. It's named after the psychedelic fur song of the same name. You can still, for a limited time, get your I Am Not a Number uh, mug. And we have uh, I Am Not a Number pint glasses, shirts. Uh, this is my favorite one here. Um, uh, hoodies, all kinds of stuff you can get. Um, if you're one of those types that has more money than cents, you can really go hog wild. Um, there's the unboxing t-shirt of which I spake. That's the one that I'm wearing right now. Or, as my Australian friends say, 
that's the one I'm wearing right now. You can even get yourself a bloody microphone t-shirt, courtesy Fet for Hire. He does some of the greatest designs uh, for my stuff. And uh, this all goes toward a good cause. You can't buy the uh, Cardinal Sins Mod Squad t-shirt because these are only for mods. So even though they are up here for sale, um, please don't buy them because it's only for staff. Bloody microphone. Uh, and um, while we're at it, talking of merch and things, uh, if you would like to, yes, yeah, so make some more dollars than cents, Uri. Um, the Into the Fringe t-shirts are freaking cool. Um, still under the weather, but I made it. Good. Uh, if you should decide to tip me, you can do so credit card information of that that's all taken care of over there it's 100 percent secure so if you'd like to buy me a coffee uh, that's how you can do it all right let's keep this going here Uh, Phantom Boomer says, I'm on a spending hiatus until I pay down some bills, but I am still shopping motorcycles. I only have two. I went to, um, not an Apple store, but like an Apple reseller or affiliate or something like that. And the guy is really into electric vehicles and they sell electric bicycles for uh, under a thousand dollars. And if that wasn't crazy money, um, I would think about getting one. It'd be kind of cool to tool around town on an electric uh, bicycle. And of course, you can use it as a regular bicycle. Ugh. Okay, this is the Fallout mystery box. So, get ready, if you're a Fallout fan, to be wowed. Hmm. This is not sealed. This is an open box. Okay, now what do I have to do? Is there some kind of weird thing? What weird thing is this? Man! I guess it's not an open box, else I'd be able to open the box. <laughs> yes, quite. My James Mason is not as good as Doomcox, but it's passable, I think, yes? What a great actor. Been in so many great movies. Okay, so we have... Uh, oh! A Nuka-Cola blaster, which blasts your thirst. That's cool. And this one is um, 13 plastic figures. Includes 12 2 inch scale figures, 2 vault boys, 2 enemies, 4 mystery figures, 2 allies, 2 artifacts, and 1 bonus 4 scale figure. Well, I guess we're going to have to do an unboxing of the box to figure out what's in here. So, let's break out the handy dandy box knife. Can't do the Jeopardy theme song. It's copyrighted. I'll get a copyright notice for that. 
The girl from Eponema is probably still under copyright too, but I don't think anybody cares if I hunt that. We'll find out. We will file out, find out. Ari says, need to find a child to help you open that childproof box. Indeed. Super glad I am not a gamer would be spending even more money. Yeah, it is the girl from Eponema. That's right. Can't do Jeopardy. Get in trouble for that. All right, let's open her up and see what we got here. Uh, oh, I think that must mean 52 plastic figures, like, in their collection, because there's not, I don't think there's 52 figures here. They'd have to be pretty small. Let's see. This looks like it's a fold-out, not a, a book. So, uh, which Fallout would this be? This must be Fallout 4, because I haven't played much Fallout 4. But it has a, a map of where you can find all the stuff that's uh, in the collection. And then here's the collection. And got to catch them all. Nano Force. I guess I do have to catch them all. Pretty cool stuff. The past meets the future. MC Toys brings you the Nano Force Series 1 Fallout Collection. Each box features 12 classic 2-inch scale Army Men plastic figures and one bonus deluxe 4-inch figure. Series 1 consists of 52 highly detailed figures. Collect them all for hours and hours of imaginative play or place them on the bonus checklist map of West Virginia. Oh, it's Fallout 76. Never mind. Uh, to build your very own tabletop display of the wasteland. No wonder I didn't recognize them. Fallout 76 was so buggy when they released it. Um, I'm not sure if it's still buggy or not. But boy, it was buggy. There was like a room of, of uh, uh, special weapons and, and armor that you could clip into and grab as a like a level one character that you weren't supposed to have any of that stuff uh, and they did a beta release instead of an alpha release they just sold all the uh, the games basically not ready not even close it's uh, notorious so here we have our fallout boy And looks like a Western-themed Fallout boy. He's got his uh, cowboy hat there and his rifle. And uh, this looks like a robot. Although I can't tell which side is the front. And... Uh, somebody with a laser rifle. I'm not going to bother to go back to the map to find out where all these guys are or what they are. Uh, looks like we have a strong female character here. And somebody in some power armor I try to play a little fallout every day and another character with a cool coat and a laser rifle oh I'm sorry about that I always try and mute my phone when I'm doing a stream I forgot
actually, um, Darius, there are lots of Fallout boys in Fallout. Uh, in Fallout 3, uh, in your apartment, your luxury apartment in Megaton, uh, you have a, a big rack where you put the... Uh, the different Fallout boys, you know, one for endurance, one for intelligence, one for dexterity, all the the special characteristics, strength, perception, endurance, etc. Yep, Darius is on a roll. Um, oh, it was a is an awesome pun. Sorry about that. <laughs> the dad jokes keep coming. All right, and here it looks like we have a Nuka Cola Thirst Blaster or Zapper or whatever. Oh, and this this bag is black, so you can't see what's in it. So you must unbox, yeah? We must unbag in the unboxing. Okay, let's see what's in the secret bag. Uh, this looks like a Fallout Boy um, whoops, ninja. He's got uh, uh, a nin ninjutsu suit on and he's holding a shuriken. And here we have a, uh, this is actually a bottle cap mine. You find a lunch box and you put um, caps in it, like soda caps, which is the currency that they use in Fallout. And uh, I still don't really know how to use those. Um... This could be an alien. No, I don't know what it is. It's something with a zapper, with a, some sort of laser gun. And we have the mysterious stranger who comes to one's aid if you have that perk. Played by uh, Vic Ma Maniena? I don't remember. And the big one is, it looks like a uh, super mutant, except it's not green, which is puzzling, it's brown. He's got his super sledge there. You do not want to run into one of these guys in uh, in the in the wasteland. Uh, they are extremely dangerous. All right, so that is that. But wait, there's more. Yeah, I am gonna have to get more shelves. And I need to pick up the 1080 version of StreamYard so that you can see everything better. Uh, unfortunately, uh, StreamYard uh, supports my channel. They're a channel um, supporter. And I don't know that they would uh, continue giving me free StreamYard if I uh, went up to the $50 a month level. In fact, I think they wouldn't. Uh, so, here's the uh, Fallout 76 uh, window decal. Which I'm not putting on anything because Fallout 76 sucks. Or at least it did when it came out.
Ah, the Vault Boy bobblehead. Get out of there, you. Let's take a look at that guy. Take all these out of here. Right. And this, I think, will find its way onto my shelves back there. Yeah, this is awesome. It's a, uh, a bobblehead you have to force out of the packaging. So there is the Fallout Boy bobblehead. That's pretty cool. Can't block Jenny Agater. And so that's cool. And what have we here, you might ask. By the way, if you enjoy the unboxing, you don't have to buy a shirt, but please hit that like button, please subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I go live, because with the unboxing, I just, I go live whenever I feel like it. Uh, oh, looks like we have a coffee cup here, a mug. Why is it all Fallout 76 stuff? I wouldn't have ordered that. Maybe I didn't know. Yes, quite. Yeah. See here, old boy. Well, I do collect coffee cups, especially the pop culture variety. If it doesn't go, force it, right? So that side says 1776 to 2076, which is when that vault opened too early. All of the vaults in Fallout open or don't open or have weird things going on with them because they were actually a secret uh project between vault tech and the government of the united states so very few of them actually served as real vaults um yeah the fallout boy can be my yes man i think we already know who the no man is darius <laughs> um, and we have some uh, 12 solid plastic army men style figures we'll go ahead and get those guys out of there before they uh, stop breathing and we'll see what we have don't know haven't seen that one before this is a mini nuke and this is in Fallout 3 Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 76 and um, the best Fallout game was made by Obsidian and this is another uh, pistol to zap your thirst. Um, Bethesda allowed Obsidian to do Fallout New Vegas. They got it done in two years 
and Fallout uh, 3 took like five years or seven years. Uh, it looks like just a... And my axe. And we have Dogmeat, who is your canine companion in Fallout. And a Nuka-Cola. That might be easier to see. And we have a Fallout Boy drinking a Nuka-Cola. And this is the Strength Fallout Boy. Um, I am become Death Destroyer of Worlds Fallout Boy, I guess. The Grim Reaper. Again, I'm, I don't know. That must be from Fallout 76. Um... Put up your dukes. Yeah, put up your dukes. Unfamiliar with that one, too. Uh, this is like the... Uh, combat Fallout Boy. And yes... The Fallout Fallout Boy predates the band uh, because that Fallout number one. Um, came out like in nineteen ninety something, uh, and this is the, like the Mad Scientist Fallout Boy. He's got a an er Erlenmeyer flask in one hand and uh, a potion in the other of some kind. So those are the mystery Fallout characters. But wait, there's more. Here we have a Pip Boy. Model 2000 Mark VI, manufactured by Robco Industries for distribution by Vault Tech Corp. And this is a 2019 Comic Con exclusive. So I guess they had so many that they couldn't get, get rid of all of them. And that's kind of cool. doesn't look very much like a Fallout Boy, but... Okay, now... We got more to go, but uh, I think it would be interesting to see what's in the... taped up Geeky Tiki's. I'm not going to lose an eye, but I might uh, cut off a finger. It's like an onion. It has many layers. Oh, yeah. Cool. So, in the game, they have lots of different kinds of Nuka-Cola. And one of them is called... Quantum, Nuka-Cola Quantum, and it gives you all kinds of uh, health effects, and it raises your AP, which is your uh, attack point. I don't remember what it stands for, but it basically lets you go several more times in, in a round than you would normally. So this is Nuka-Cola Quantum. Wow, 
And it actually uh, is a real drink. I think it's a Jones soda. So you could drink it if you want to. In um, in the game, they glow blue. They're like, uh, you know, radioactive or whatever. Uh, they sort of... Um, not only are they an effervescent sparkling beverage, uh, but they glow in the dark. This isn't working. Okay, there's your Nuka-Cola Quantum. Which is very cool. Put it over here next to our uh, bobblehead. Do you, do, you want, do you want some Quantum, Nuka-Cola Quantum? Yeah? No? Yes? Yes, yes. I'm really glad I got these TARDIS consoles. I've been waiting for these. For a very long time. And here we have the uh, pint glass set. And since I'm going to use these, I am going to open the box. I know, take it out of the package. <gasps> Never take it out of the package. What are you doing? This doesn't have any collectible value. It will not go up in value. These have been around for a long time. I think these are also from Fallout 76, which is probably why they're still available. And I really hope that uh, Bethesda lets Obsidian make um, Fallout 5, but they probably won't. So this is the ceramic vault tech pint glass and vault 111 is the uh, the vault in that one hmm oh yes So this is a Vault Boy, or Fallout Boy, that actually will uh, hold and charge either your phone or your PlayStation controller or Xbox or whatever other Wii, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a console guy, I just have a, a PS3 and a PS4. and. So far, the PS4 doesn't work. All right, come on. Bloody hell. Okay, so here's your USB charger cable. More plastic. Thank you. And this is the item itself. 
and that will hold a PlayStation controller and charge it or whatever kind of controller you have and it will also do so with your phone which is nice very fetching and handy dandy little device if I do say so myself and I do say so myself get back on your charging station phone there we go Uh, in the game, there are a chain of no longer functioning uh, Red Rocket uh, gas stations. And this is the window cling for that. Oh, and they include it as a free... Uh, a freebie, uh, Baby Yoda, little Grogu, as a pin. And I, I'm generally kind of against new Star Wars, Disney Star Wars, so. It was a nice thought, but you probably won't see that on my shelf. So, of course, you have to collect them all with these uh, bobbleheads. That's yeah, a little bit better picture. It says there's a lockpick, an energy weapons, a perception, a strength, repair, and melee. And I don't know which one is in this box. But if it's the same as that one, I'm going to be kind of pissed. Nope, it's different. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord. So which one is this? Uh, it's not on there. It looks like speed, although I don't think there is a speed. He's running. And he's a little shorter than this bobblehead, so they're not in the same series, which is weird. I'm reboxing. I know you didn't tune in for a reboxing. I apologize. And this is uh, one of my favorite things in the whole world the geeky tiki's. You'll see me drinking out of these in the future. This one is the Gorn from Star Trek. And since I am going to use it, I'm going to remove it from the packaging. <gasps> Clutch your pearls. And by the way, these are some of the geeky tikis that you can get. Some of them are out of print. I thought that was the case with this one, but it's not. 
and Walter Bosley uses his Geeky Tiki Gorn on every one of his live streams, or almost every one. Depends on the time of day, I guess. So, more packaging, more packaging. And voila, the Gorn. So if you really wanted to, you could put some Nuka-Cola Quantum inside your Gorn and drink up. I love the Gorn. Been wanting a Gorn for a long time. I think that is Trey okay. Here. Oh, yes. One of my favorite movies, Mars Attacks, based on the uh, Bubble Gum card series, I believe. I'm sure somebody in the chat will correct me, even if I'm right. Darius. So there's the Mars Attacks Geeky Tiki. And again, if you wanted, you could just pour your Nuka Cola Quantum right in there. But wait, there's more. This stuff I have to uh, ask and beg your patience because it's taped up like the fucking Ark of the Covenant is in here. Bubble wrap and tape and bubble wrap and tape. So this is a Fallout pint glass. It's got the same thing on both sides. And a sticker. Guess where it was made. We have another, I think, geeky tiki. This is fun. Isn't this fun? Darius Munchausen says, Children of the Gorn, Gorn Cobb Pipe. Ari says, Act, act. No, you don't drink out of the Gorn's mouth. That would be disgusting. Nancy says, I'll be calling you. Whatever that Giga Mocha Cola is what Sam used in Quantum Leap. Okay. Nope, not made in Vault 11. Everything is made in Vault 11. Herc130 is here and says, Hello, Jenny. And Cardinal Sin. And thank you to Dalek451 for being here. That is very cool. Mm. So much packaging with these things. God forbid you should actually get them open. Get them open, God forbid. Come here, Lolita. It's time for your pedicure. 
And then we have a road trip ahead of us. Ah, another Nuka Cola Quantum. And these are very hard to find in the game. Especially because they have such wonderful effects. Got a lot of packaging. A lot of packaging. And for those of you that uh, arrived late, I got the... 11th Doctor's junk console for the TARDIS. As well as the 9th and 10th bloody microphone. Doctor's TARDIS center console. This is the Coral desktop of which they spake in Time Crash, in which David Tennant is heard to say, you are my doctor. Anyway, back to trying to find out what the hell this is. If it won't go, force it. Force it! C-H-E-E-S-E-A-N-D-O-N-I-O-N-S, oh no. Do I have to spell it out? Oh, C-H-E-E-S-E-A-N-D-O-N-I-O-N-S, oh no. And more packaging. Boy, they really don't want me to get into this. If you see blood coming at the uh, at the camera, do not be alarmed. Just know that there will be many fewer unboxings. Struck the uh, the fallout mother load here, mm. and it is Another Nuka Cola Quantum. Yeah, by Jones Soda. What you gonna do with all those Nuka Cola Quantums, Cardinal Sin? I might drink one. But they kind of don't make sense if. It doesn't have the liquid in it. I guess I could drink it and fill it with Windex. Right? No, I'm not going to do that. This is the last one.
and it's got a hellacious amount of bubble wrap and tape on it. So I'm just going to get rid of that all in one fell swoop. I feel like I'm unboxing an alien, like a, a face hugger. And it is another Fallout pint glass with the uh, ubiquitous Fallout Shelter logo on either side. Oh wow, I didn't realize that this Thirst Zapper came with a, a background. Let's uh, get the packaging off. And I'll take it out of the original packaging. <laughs> oh my god, oh no, god forbid you should use or play with any toys. Some people buy one to use and buy one to leave in the in the uh, packaging, which I think is ridiculous. Okay, so there is your Nuka Cola Thirst Zapper gun with the huge cap underneath it for its stand. Nuka World. Nuka Cola. And they even have a couple of holes in the back so you can mount it on the wall, which is pretty cool. Nice piece of uh, memorabilia. And that's all she wrote. That is it. Is that not enough? Bloody microphone is in now in my autocorrect of my phone. Blood spraying at the camera would be the most metal unboxing yet. Chug, chug, chug. A hellacious amount of bubble wrap by Wayback Machine. Face hugger, still laughing at that one. Well, that's good. Uh, don't forget uh, to... Visit gillstore.com. Please do subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And uh, that's all for today. So it's Cardinal Sin.